Assalamu alaikum student this is Atif Ishaq and in this video we will learn how to design practical solution using java language and the concept of object oriented programming in this video we will compute euclidean distance uh, and the euclidean distance is the distance from origin to the destination so first of all we move to the problem statement and then we will write code for that solution the problem is that Ali starts randomly walking from library. At each time step, Ali walks one meter in a random direction, either north, east, south, or west, with the probability of 25%. It means he can move in all directions with the equal probability. How far will Ali be from central library after n time steps? And this process is known as two-dimensional random walk. We have to write a program random walk dot java that takes the total time steps n and simulates the motion of a random walk for n steps and the output of the program is that we have to print location at each step including the starting point treating the starting point as the origin zero zero and finally we will print the final euclidean distance from the origin now first of all we will understand how this problem is to be dissected look at the map we will see that the four directions are like this, where the person can move either in, in north direction or uh, south direction or east direction or west direction. Now we have assumed that this is the origin, that this is the central library. So the person can move in north direction, means north direction moving mean. So this is y axis actually on the graph and in uh, east direction moving is this is actually x axis on the graph similarly moving in uh, south direction is also the y axis but the movement in y is in negative and similarly moving towards south direction is also moving on the x axis so one if the person moves in the north direction we make positive change in the y axis and when the person moves in the south direction we make a negative change in the y axis means we will increment y axis when the person moves towards north we decrement y when the person moves towards south similarly when the person moves towards east we increment and when the person moves towards west we decrement the x axis after that Finally, the person stops at this location. So the origin is actually zero is uh, zero, zero, means x axis are zero, y axis are zero. But when the person finishes at some other location, we will have some value of x and y. Now we actually have to minus x2, which is destination from x1, because we assume that it is zero, zero. So we don't need to minus here. We just use this x and this y and we take the square of x and y sum it and get the square distance by taking the square root of it now right right now we are going to write the code for this particular problem so now we are going to write a, a program so we have to create a class random walk dot java so first of all because we have to uh, get input from the user so we need to import scanner class and similarly as we need to add the randomness so we need to import a random class as well so first of all we will write import java dot little dot random and import java dot little dot scanner so the random class will be used to get a random number either 0 1 2 or 3 and the scanner class will be used to get the initial input from the user how many steps the person will walk from the uh, origin to the destination now we have to write the class public class random walk so the first case i took random walk now inside the inside the class we write straight away we write a method public void random walk now this is method not the constructor actually because i took the first letter small this method will receive n as an input as a parameter 
and n is actually the number of steps that the person will move. Now we have to define int x, int y. So these are actually x axis and y axis direct directions. Now random random is equals to new random and I pass four because it will generate only four random numbers zero to four. Now place a loop for int i is equals to zero and i is less than equals to n actually and uh, i plus plus. Okay. Now inside the loop, as we are starting with the region, so we will first check that if uh, i is not equals to zero because we have to print the start location. If I not place this if condition, the straight away uh, the system will start uh, making changes in x axis or the y axis. So what we did, uh, we create a random number int random number and this random number is equals to Actually, we don't not, we don't need to place four here. Actually, we have to we we know it here. Random number, random dot next int and four will placed here. We will create four zero to four. The random number range is zero to four. Actually, if random number is equal to zero. Look at this. If it is 0, 0, 0, we will make a change in y axis, means person is moving in the north direction. Else, if random number is equal, is equal to 1, now we assume that the person is moving in south direction, so we decrement. The one is moving in the north direction, then if it's one, then the person moving towards the south direction. Similarly, else if random number is equal to two, it means person is moving towards east. So we increment in x axis. Else if we generate any other number, the person moves towards west. So we have to decrement x axis. So these are the four directions where the person moves, north, south, east, and west. So inside the loop, as we have to print the starting location, so system dot out dot printf. Current position is equals to and we use percentage d percentage d comma x comma y so printf is a statement where we have to define percentage percentage indicate that we are printing a decimal value so now, actually, this for loop is completed. Inside the method, we have to print the total distance. So double distance is equals to math is equals to math dot s q r t square root math library is available in java and the square root is the function so we have to use x times x means x square plus y times y means y square and taking the square root it, it is actually the euclidean distance and now we have to print it system dot out dot print ln the total distance yeah, yeah we can write Euclidean distance 
from origin is plus distance. So we close this. Now this is the complete method that will actually compute the Euclidean distance from uh, south, east, west or north direction from the origin. Now we have to write the main method to simulate it. So the good practice is that we write the main function in a different uh, file, but uh, for, for right now, for the simplicity, I'm writing the main function within the same class. Public static void main string arg arguments Inside that, we will create a scanner SC is equals to new scanner system dot in. And though this scanner class will be used to get uh, input from the user. So we have created a scanner. Okay. Uh, now we have to print the Actually, we have to call the method. We have to create the object. Uh, what is the object? The class is actually random walk. So RW is the object. New random walk is actually the constructor. So the RW is the object for the random walk and the scanner is the class. Now we have to uh, ask the user to input system dot out dot print ln we have to also user enter the total number of steps so the total number of steps will be entered by the user and how we will get it we will get it integer n is equals to sc dot next integer now, the value that we will get in n is actually passed to the random walk method. Random walk and we will pass n to it. Now, this is the complete program actually that so I just summarize it. We have created a class, public class random walk. Before that, we have imported two uh, classes. One is the random, other was the scanner. The random class will be used to generate a random number while the scanner class will be used to get input from the user inside the random class we have created a method public void random walk and n is received as a parameter there are two uh, uh, fields or variable x and y that will control the direction or the movement towards east west south or next uh, or the west direction so we first create a random numbers object and we place a loop here and this loop is actually controls the total number of the set because it will time it will execute n times so when the value is uh, not equal to zero because first time when the loop will execute we will simply print the start means origin zero zero and after that there is an increment i means we will generate a random number and the random number generated for n times and it will determine the total number of steps and the random movement from the origin. And finally, uh, at the nth step, we will have x and, and y with some change value. So using that value, we have to compute the Euclidean distance. Now let's um, execute this program. Before executing, uh, let's have a close look that if there is any error or let's say one is that we have to call this method with the object that is rw. And from the start, let's see. Okay, 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 okay. So we need to initialize it with zero. Otherwise, the uh, uh, program will say that the variable x and y is not because they are placed actually inside the loop. So their value is changed within the loop. So we have to initialize it with some value. Otherwise, if we call it within the constant value, will be automatically initialized. And uh, the one more thing is that we have to place. Uh, I think this must be like this. Okay. So now we uh, execute it and um, for execution, first we need to compile it Java C dot random 
walk dot java so let's okay so there is no syntax error at all now for execution we have to make use of java and uh, random walk so i will execute it with the different input first uh, i enter zero number of steps so we'll see that uh, the current position is zero zero and the euclidean distance from the region is also zero zero now we execute it again for one step so we'll see that the current position is zero and uh, then current position is changed because this x x axis there is a change in x axis so the total distance is 1 comma 0 or uh, 1.0 sorry now we uh, make a little change to make it more uh, clear so the output will come in a uh, good order so let's make a change uh, in code So inside the code, uh, actually, this is the line where we are getting. So we place a new line, escape sequence. So we will get every time we'll get output on the new line. So uh, we let's compile it again. And um, compiling the program and execute. Let's say no zero. So now we have uh, in a good way, we'll ha we have output in a good way. Let's uh, have five steps actually. So you can see, starting from the region, the person first moves in the x axis. Then again, uh, sorry, the person moves uh, in actually north direction, y axis, then again y axis, and then in x axis, then again in y axis, then again in x axis. So you can see that if it is zero, the person moves y axis, y axis actually. Okay. Then the person moves in towards x axis, the person moves towards y axis, the person moves towards x axis. Now, from this point to this point, we have computed total Euclidean distance that is 3.60. So, I hope you have understood this problem, and uh, I would prefer that you practice it and uh, the practice the problem that I will give you as an assignment. So, uh, thank you very much, and Allah is.